Hey everybody, my name is Anthony Salvatore and today I'm going to be walking you all through how to perform an FDI analysis within our FRAC Pro AI ecosystem. First things first, supply your AI credentials on the login page and click login. You'll be directed to the dashboard and you can use the menu on the left to select wells. This will bring you to a list of all the wells in your environment. We'll select our treatment well, bringing us to the well details page. If we scroll down, we see a button here on the bottom left, treatment details, that we're going to click on. This will bring us to the first treatment in this data set, in this case, treatment 36. I'm going to collapse this menu on the left because I don't need it anymore for the analysis. Next, I'm going to use the show channels button on the top left, this area plot, to select my offset pressure data. By clicking offset, I can select my monitoring well with the well drop down. Make sure you have monitor treatment data type um, selected. Make sure you have your tubing pressure or whichever pressure channel you're using for this for the analysis and then hit set. Then I'm going to move all these on their own axis. And then I'm going to give myself a little bit more of a buffer here so I could see the data. And there we go. We have loaded the offset pressure data, including the treatment data. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak the color of this pressure data. All right. So now we can see that the FDI is still occurring towards the end of the treatment. So I'm going to use the settings to give myself a little bit of a buffer. Now, if you don't see the data on the first try, it could be that you're not in job, you're not in date time view. Since we're aligning two separate well pressures, we're going to need to be in date time view. Mine was already set up like this, but yours may look something like this. So just make sure that when you're, when you're including your settings to swap to date time view. Next, I'm going to give myself a buffer on the x-axis by increasing my um, x-axis limit by a few hours. And then make sure you have all selected here in the last so that you're populating all the data. Once happy with our settings, we'll hit set and the data will reload. And there we go. Looks like we already have some FDI data here, so I'm going to use the FDI drop down and hit remove all. If you come in here for the first time, you won't see anything, so you'll hit the FDI drop down and, and click add FDI. When you do this, a series of markers will be placed within the data set. These will be used to analyze the, the treatment and offset well pressure and provide us with these values on the right. Since we have the Bourdais derivative, we can automate the pick of the start and end FDI with this hammer icon. By clicking that, our start FDI will be populated where the Bourdais derivative first goes above zero, and then the end FDI pick will be where it first goes below zero after that start FDI point. Now we can pick, we can slide a few of these other markers. We can even zoom in to help us help us in the selection. So we've got leak off start and end here. I'm going to leave leak off start there and move leak off end. We'll move it to before the FDI start. This is going to help us calculate our pre FDI pressure trend. Next, I'm going to select peak FDI start, which I'm going to use the board derivative to help me pick that basically where the slope is the greatest. And then again, the FDI, peak FDI end, I'll do it um, right there, right before the maximum. Now that I have all my picks, I'm going to use the refresh icon here on the, on the top right to zoom out. And there we go. We've got all of our markers set on stage 36 and then all these calculated parameters here on the right, everything from pressure gain to volume to first response and volume to first response percentage, tre pressure trends, as well as uh, prior to the frac and then during the FDI. So 
A couple other options you can do using the drop down. We can either remove the analysis if we want, we can show or hide the analysis, or we could even use this parameter button to select certain parameters that we want to display. Maybe we don't want to display the pressure trend before or the average FDI intensity. So you can pick and choose what values are important to you. I hope this was helpful. Next, I'll be showing you how to compare multiple stages of FDI data. We'll go back to the menu on the left and go back to wells. This time, instead of clicking directly on treatment, well, I'm gonna select both of the check boxes for the wells that I wanna compare. Slot, scroll down and click compare. I'll collapse my menu. This brings us to the well comparison page where we can analyze uh, data sets on top of each other, even um, having a scatter plot here beneath. First things first, I'm gonna load, I'm gonna load my data. I already have my frac channel selected. I'm gonna select my tubing pressure. You can adjust your colors as well as your setting, your um, minimum and maximums. Once you're satisfied, you can hit set. Next, I'm gonna use the select treatments drop down to select all my treatments on my treatment well and then my monitoring well. Then I'm gonna hit load. If you have more than one well selected, which we do, it will auto load in date time view. You can overlay the data in job time view if you want, but that's not necessary for this analysis. If you want to change the layer or the, the label, we can do that with something like treatment well for TW for treatment well and monitoring well for the monitoring well. And you could always turn that off if you want. I like this because it shows the progression of the FDI data overlaid with your treatment data. If we scroll down, we can utilize the scatter plot functionality by swapping our X axis parameters from pressure average, go down to FDI and select our something like VFR for volume to first response and maybe our VFR percentage and our net gain pressure. This will overlay the stage data that we captured from the treatment details page. We could even change the colors, the shapes, and even the axis. If you wanna export this data, you can just use this button here in the middle on the, on the top right of the plot and, do, and select raw data, and it will export that data directly to a ASCII file. Now you know how to go into FRAC Pro AI, overlay offset pressure and treatment well pressure data, perform the FDI analysis, and analyze your results afterwards in our, in our well comparison page. Make sure to comment below or reach out to us at support at fracpro.com if you have any questions about this process or wanna see a live demo yourself. Thanks and have a great day.